Welcome to Audible Stories, The Precious Pearl. Long ago, near the river bank there lived a woman and her son. They were good people, but very poor. Every day the boy hiked into the countryside to cut grass. This he gathered and sold to the villagers for fodder and fuel. With his small earnings, mother and son managed to survive. One year a terrible drought struck the land. Life became even harder for the family. The boy went out as usual every day, gathering whatever little he could. He made less and less money. After a while his mother became ill from hunger. One day the boy was walking beside a dry stream and came upon the luscious patch of bright green grass he had ever seen. Amazed by his luck, he quickly cut the whole patch, filled his sack and carried it to the village. He sold this grass for more money than he had ever made before. Then he returned home and fed his mother a hearty meal. The next day the boy returned to the same spot in the hills, hoping he might find another green patch. To his astonishment, he saw that the grass he had cut the day before had grown again, just as thick and green. He worked until sunset and once again traveled to the village and earned enough money to pay for a fine meal. On the third day the boy again returned to the dry stream. Again he saw the grass had grown. For five days this went on. The boy and his mother were deeply grateful for the miraculous patch of grass. But on the sixth day the boy woke and yawned. Oh! It is so far to walk to my spot. Then he smiled, for he had an idea. He would go to the patch again, but this time he would dig up the magic grass by the roots and bring it back to plant beside their house. He hiked back into the hills to his patch and worked there for hours, digging up by the roots. Suddenly he found, buried in the soil, a beautiful white pearl tinged with pink. He held it gently in his palm, watching it gleam in the midday sun. Then he put it in his pocket and finished his work. That night the boy showed the pearl to his mother. It's so lovely, she said as she rolled the gem. We can sell it, the boy said happily. No, let us keep it for a while said the mother. It will be nice to have something so beautiful with us. She put the pearl in the rice jar, and the boy went out to plant his grass. The next morning the boy awoke early, eager to see his new patch of grass. But when he ran to the window, he saw that the grass was withered and dying. Oh, I am a fool, he cried. I have destroyed that which was good. If only I had not been so lazy. Then he remembered the pearl. He ran to the jar to make certain the precious pearl was still there. To his great surprise, the jar, which had been nearly empty, now brimmed with rice, and the lovely pearl sat on the top, gleaming in the morning light. Mother, Come quickly, he called. When she saw this miracle, she rejoiced. We will eat a big bowl of rice in celebration, she said. Let us put the pearl back as it was, she said. The next morning, to their great joy, they found the jar was full once again. This is a precious pearl, said the mother. We must take care of our treasure. That night she put the pearl in the money box. The next morning the box was overflowing with coins. That night they placed the pearl inside the oil jar. In the morning, the jar overflowed with oil. The mother and her son no longer had any worries. 
Whatever they needed, the pearl created for them. Their friends and neighbors noticed the change in their fortunes, but no one minded, for mother and son were generous beyond compare. They were always giving things to others. Two men in the village, who were selfish and greedy, were suspicious of the good fortune the mother and son possessed. One day these men went to the house and bullied the woman to share the secret of her wealth. But gentlemen, said the woman, our fortune is no secret. We are lucky enough to own a precious pearl. She took out the pearl from its safe place. The men crowded close. Suddenly one of them snarled, We shall have your pearl. But before he could grab it, the boy snatched it up and ran towards the river bank. Give it to us, cried the men. One of them ran behind the boy. He ran so hard and fast to the river. His mother and the two men and all the neighbors stood helpless nearby as the boy dropped the pearl into the dry river. And then, suddenly, a loud crack of thunder sounded. Wind roared. Lightning flashed. Rain poured from the sky. The people fell to the ground, grateful and thankful to God for their drought had ended. The boy and his mother were happy to save their land and the people always thanked them for their kind gesture and generosity. If you like the story, Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for listening.